everyone. Welcome to the PyCharm Fast API tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to create an e-commerce application. So as you know, what we normally see in an e-commerce store, we have users and products and cart items and orders and authentication, etc. We will be building APIs for all the known features like users can log in as well as register. You can add products, order products, as well as add products to the cart. We aren't going to build any UI for this tutorial. Our core idea is only to develop the APIs. These APIs will help you understand how the back end gets integrated with the modern front end frameworks. Before moving ahead, make sure you have installed Postgres in your system. I will mention the links in the PyCharm guide. You can go and directly check over there or else you will find a lot of tutorials and videos available on the internet. Let's begin. I will create a package called e-commerce and inside that I will be creating subdirectories which I'll be explaining in the upcoming videos. We have created the necessary directories. This is how the app structure will look. Next, I will create a config.py file, which contains the necessary credentials as environment variables related to things like database name, password, etc. Just follow along with me. We also require the test database which is needed when we're going to work on unit tests.
Let me get a fresh copy of the requirements.txt file. We will be using SQL Alchemy, which is an object relational mapper for Python and helps with communicating with databases. We will also be installing PsychoPG2, which is a database connector for Python and Postgres. You may have observed that we didn't use SQL Alchemy 1.4.0 or PsychoPG3, which supports the async IO feature, which is indeed definitely going to be faster. At the time of this recording, the PsychoPG3 project was still under active development and the async IO extension of SQL Alchemy 1.4.3 is still considered to be at the beta level. Maybe within a few months, we can expect a stable release, but you're completely free to explore these projects. If I'm not wrong, Michael Kennedy has already covered this feature in his fast API course with async SQL Alchemy. As you can see, I'm using PyCharm, so it's automatically prompting me to install the packages which are not present in my system. Make sure before installing PsychoPG2 that you have installed the system dependencies. Finally, the package has been successfully installed. Make sure to install system dependencies first, otherwise the package installation will fail. So I'm gonna see you in the next video where I will be connecting to our database from FastAPI, as well as using the data grip support, the database tool in PyCharm Professional. Mm -hmm.